Hi, I'm Michelle Tompkins of Resort Services. I'm here with Shelly Rogerson. She's here to tell us about a program she will be presenting in January in our Health Connection. Welcome, Shelly. Thanks for having me. Well, thank you very much for being here. Your program in Health Connection is called Living Well with Hearing Loss. That is a very big concern with a lot of aging adults is their hearing. Can you tell us about your main presentation of what you're gonna be talking about? Well, we'll be talking about people who have hearing loss that don't yet have hearing aids and what they, steps they should take if they feel they have hearing loss about getting tested and determining whether they need hearing aids or not, that process. And then we'll also talk about people who have already have hearing loss that might be wearing hearing aids and strategies they can do to improve listening in difficult situations or if you live with a person that has hearing loss, mm -hmm. you know, strategies to communicate easier with them. And that can be a scary thing, you know, realizing that you've got hearing issues and your hearing is going. What would be the first step that someone would take if they notice themselves or even um, a family member with hearing issues? Well, the best thing is just to have a hearing test. It, you know, if you don't have hearing loss, it takes about 15 minutes. And if you have hearing loss, it might take up to an hour. So it's a pretty simple test and uh, it's painless. And so it's just easy to just get tested and see. Sometimes you might have some loss, but not enough yet for a hearing aid. And, you know, there might be some things you can do to improve while you're, you know, in the meantime, not ready quite for a hearing aid. There's things like closed captioning on the TV or amplified phones, mm -hmm. things you can do to, you know, improve your life if you don't need hearing aids yet. Okay, so there are other options other than taking that step for the actual hearing aid. Correct, right. Who should attend Living Well with Hearing Loss? People who think they might have hearing loss, um, people that have hearing aids now, um, and people that live with people that have hearing aids or hearing loss so that they can improve communication. Okay, well, tell me about how you got into this. Well, I was originally a registered nurse, and so I started in the uh, nursing industry, and then um, I was part-time, and my uh, husband at the time was in the hearing aid industry, so I started working in his office and kind of then eventually took over the bell tone here in Fort Myers. So I've been doing hearing aids about 18 years. Okay, well, it, it's a definitely, I know from reading and research, it's definitely a growing industry. Would you agree? Yes, and there's a lot of changes in, you know, in the technology and things to make it a lot easier than it used to be. We're looking forward to having you here, and this is going to be a very good and thorough program, I'm sure. Thank you very much for being here today and explaining to us about your program. And make sure you sign up, call your service desk to sign up for this Health Connection program. It will be held at 1 p.m in the Grand Cypress Room at the Woodlands, Living Well with Hearing Loss, January 23rd. You won't want to miss it. Thank you very much.